Hello, thank you for joining me. I've just finished recording a piece about that involved mention of the, the Falklands and it brought to mind a funny little story. So I thought, right, before you forget, record that now and you can save it for a later date. And it also means that my gorgeous roses are on again. So, as I, I said in the last piece, the squadron were supportive of those wives who were left by the husbands who had gone south. And <laughs> so were the wives. And two of us were invited out three times in one week by other wives and each time we had the same meal we had lasagna lasagna and then lasagna <laughs> so it was really kind of them to invite us but uh, the two of us did have a chuckle about it and we said you know oh shall we meet up for a meal next week yeah so long as it's not lasagna <laughs> but I had a friend and her son and daughter came round for a meal and they were my two sons. So the children were all early teens or just pre-teens, about 11, 12, 13. And we were having a Lancashire night. So I had made a huge, great, big Lancashire hot pot and a great big potato pie for non-Lancastrians, English people, the potato pie did actually include other than potatoes. It had meat and um, onions and carrots in and pastry lid to it. So I'd got those two big ones. I did two medium sized ones and two smaller ones. So the theory was that at least the two smaller ones and probably one of the medium ones I could pop in the freezer. Anyway, we, we sat down and we started off with a, a lovely white tablecloth. But as it was friends, we'd got the sauce bottles, the brown and the tomato sauce bottles on the table. Now, some people like beetroot with one of those and some like pickle red cabbage. So we'd got a pot of each of those there, a, a bowl of them that I, I'd made. So the children were really excited because the electricity all went off. So I had to get candles out. So they went a little bit hyper. They thought it was hilarious that uh, they were in an adult setting, have a candlelit meal. Anyway, one of the squadron guys who lived just down the road knocked on the door not long afterwards to say, just checking you're all right with the electrics off. Yeah, we're just eating. So-and-so's here. Do you want to come and join us? Oh, yeah, please. So in he came. And by this time, there were bits of crumbs of pastry over the table, uh, dribbles of the um, the juice, the vinegar from the, the two pickled things. And the children were even more high because they had discovered, well, the boys had discovered that if they went to the, the, the loo as a, a pair, one could shine the torch whilst the other did the necessary. And it made their doing their necessary, their urine, sparkly and twinkly and they thought that was hilarious so they went with regular monotony anyway this guy arrived so got one of the others out one of the other pots and another knock on the door okay so i went to the door and it was the squadron commander lovely lovely guy but very proper. 
he and his wife were very proper people. And so I said, oh, you know, Pete's here. And so it says here, come and join us. Well, actually, I haven't eaten. I said, well, come on then. Well, when he walked into this mayhem and me having gone to the door with a, a torch, you know, he, he thought that this was a real madhouse. He'd, he'd never been before. So in we went and he settled down and I explained that it was a Lancashire meal. And uh, I forgot to add that people often had bread to dip in the gravy because that also filled them. Um, as in the days of yore when they were two recipes that were used to fill families. So I'd gone into the kitchen to get some more bread and there was a tap on the shoulder and it was this guy. He said, could I have some bread to me? to dip in my gravy. He said, I've never dipped bread in gravy before. I said, yes, of course you can. So I put another half loaf on a plate, through it went, and long story short, it was riotous with this proper guy being more badly behaved than the children. And the table was just a wreck. But you know, Everybody had had their fill. All six dishes were empty. <laughs> Got nothing for the freezer. But we'd had a laugh and a good time and got to know somebody that we only ever saw as this proper figure of authority in a totally different light. In fact, he went on to get a knighthood and have a couple of important roles. And I thought, I wonder if he ever thinks of that evening <laughs> with the potato pie and Lancashire hot pot. I hope so. So thank you for joining me. And so pleased that my microphone has behaved this time. <laughs> Take care. And I will speak to you very soon. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>